Police were told you four people died in a head on crash in rural Lincoln County, including three teenagers. It happened just before midnight on Highway 79 near Old Monroe. Well, now the county is considering. <clears throat> excuse me, considering a curfew in hopes of preventing more late night crashes. Russell Kinsall has been learning more and getting reaction from parents. I've had numerous arguments about curfews and what time they think they should be home versus what time I think they should be home. Just like every other parent of teens, Jody Mozzie worries when her teens are out, especially when it's late. So far this year, we, we, we've had uh, six, six juveniles that have tragically died in motor vehicle crashes at late times at night. Lincoln County Sheriff Rick Harold's deputies have investigated several fatal crashes involving teens this year. One on South Chantilly Road in February happened at 3.40 a.m. Three died, including two juveniles. I've talked to these parents that have lost their children. I've been at the scenes of these strategies, and it, I feel personally that something more needs to be done. You could say there's already a curfew of 1 a.m. in Missouri because drivers 15 to 18 have a graduated driver's license that says they're not allowed to drive between 1 and 5 a.m. But in Lincoln County, they're talking about a curfew in the unincorporated areas of midnight. And in fact, in the region, there are some cities that have curfews as early as 11 p.m. Troy has a midnight curfew. So does the city of St. Charles. St. Charles County's curfew is 11 p.m. Sunday through Thursday, midnight, Friday and Saturday. The curfew in St. Louis is the same. The sheriff believes a curfew would help parents convince their kids to be home on time. So if it has to be that when the, when the parent says, I need you home by a certain time at night and you're going to get pushed back from your child, and if you can say, because it's the law, let us be that for you. It would make things a lot simpler for parents, um, but also potentially a lot safer for our children. Harold said he met with Lincoln County R3 school district educators to get input. The county commission has yet to make a decision on a curfew. In Troy, Russell Kinsall, News 4.